Bonjour, hi, welcome to the stream. I'm Frank Boucher, I'm a Microsoft Cloud Advocate. And every Wednesday and Friday I'm streaming twice a week, twice, twice, <laughs> twice a week. Wednesday doing a little bit more .NET open source project. On Friday it's more experimental, though today will be also experimental, so it's not, you know, I need, I need to find a proper way to, uh, to <laughs> explain what I'm doing. On Friday, I'm with my friend Jason Hen, and we are developing, kind of learning at the same time how to build a trivia game. But today, I'm, uh, I want to work. So we've been working on a URL shortener, and the URL shortener is done with a backend using Azure Function and a frontend using Blazor WebAssembly. And today, I would like to jump back again. Now that the versioning is a little bit more defined in Azure, I would like to go there and continue to add more stat and see if we can have an environment that we can work. Copper Birdie, hello my friend, how are you? Welcome in the cloud. So that's the plan of today. So before we're waiting too long, I should start a project. It will be tiny, blazer, admin. That's strange. Didn't see anything. Did it start? Yes. It did start. Excellent. So, and then uh, what I want to do is so let's first stop that thing. Why it's not stopping? Terminal stop. Yeah, so let's add a few tasks. So I would like to first try to run the tiny blazer admin locally. So to do, how was your week, uh, Copper Birdie? To do add. Not too bad so far. Good. Here we have a uh, Indian summer. I don't know how to call that. Like it's a uh, the temperature is getting hot after it was cold for you got the your first fr you got your first freeze and then temperature go up for like a few days and then go back to normal. So we call that period Indian summer, l'été indien. Uh, so today it's like 22 Celsius, when, you know, last week it was zero and minus something. And we're expecting getting back to uh, normal pretty soon. So once we have the tiny blazer admin, I would like to value, like uh, show a grid. Let's just make it very basic show a grid and I would like also to add a chart so now we could start right one cool I will need to change my UI soon also. I'm not sharing my screen. Boom. So I have this running here, but I think I will need to change a few things. So I will need to go in my Active Directory because I'm running version two. So now I had the tiny blazer admin website 
and the URL shortener are running identity. So we need to make sure it's possible to run from on-prem. So this year, that's my app. Not sure I can show the next one. Sorry for hiding stuff. So, authentication. Let's add a local host here. running in 501 I think right <laughs> I forgot I think it was 501 yes it is it is 501 and I'm can I show that yeah I can yeah, I can show that. I can show you that. So what I'm doing right now is I'm adding the local host in my addresses so I can run locally. So we'll save that. And now I need also to go in my Azure function to give the permission from with the cores. go here and in the course here I think I need to add this I should put like a oh, didn't like it Oh, there it is. Cool. So now let's try to run it again. Well, F5, this code. Hey, a rating from Kim Phil. We'll wait a little bit. That's oh, it's Christmas time now on Twitch. Last week it was which hat, and now it's a uh, Christmas hat. That's cool. Hey, welcome raiders, welcome aboard. Thank you for the raid, Kim Phil. So, how was your uh, how was your stream? What what was your stream about? That's a lot of Santas. No kidding. <laughs> That's a load of, of Santa. Welcome, I'm Frank Boucher. I'm a Microsoft Cloud Advocate and I mess around when I'm streaming. That's my playground in the cloud. Like, you know, if we go here, we are in the cloud having fun, just experimenting stuff. And uh, let's go back and that's... Bonjour. Hi. TBD is there. Welcome. Oh, doing Xamarin form. Cool. That's one of the things that I has on my back burner for way too long Xamarin. It's, I think it's pretty cool. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, TBD. Actually end up struggling a little with Xamarin. Uh, Xamarin could be confusing sometimes. Like I, I did uh, Xamarin when I did WPF. Is it WPF Foundation Presentation Foundation? Yeah, I was doing a lot of uh, I learned a lot. I was learning and doing stuff with that a little while back. So I did experiment with Xaml. Well, yeah. Welcome aboard. So we're having fun today. We are having like, let me share a few links. So we have a project called the Tiny Blazer admin website. 
and it's part of this project. So it's a URL shortener we create on this stream that use serverless, so Azure serverless. Uh, the version one was a one-click deploy. It was super easy, you got it, very budget-friendly and everything, but the website was running like a website. So with now Blazor that can run, if you decide to run the WebAssembly version, you could have something that is a static website that run in storage, so cost, bing, 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 nothing. So we created that. So now we have a new interface called a tiny Blazor admin website. So when you go version two, you could go in deployment and that will bring you to the tiny Blazor admin website. That's the one here. So that's a Blazor website, but right now it was very plain. I just had like a very basic grid. So we had the sync fusion. They give us, they give me, or they give us a community license. So now I wanna add a better grid, add some charts and some stuff so we could play and have a better UI because now it's cool, we can create a short URL for mostly, honestly, I think my estimation is it will cost you less than $1 by month. You are running this URL shortener, except if you have more than 10,000 clicks on your stuff by month. Other, you know, and then like it will be two dollars a month. Woohoo! So very, very, very budget friendly. Uh, it, right now it's a little bit more complex uh, to deploy. Uh, we did update the documentation last week, so we have the the uh, like step by step deployment. I want to rework that. Do like step one, step two, make it a little bit more clear. So I was deploying it because I want to use it. Uh, for the show all around Azure that I'm having uh, with my colleague Jason Hen twice a week. Um, so we, we, we want to have a short URL to share links and stuff like that. Uh, and at the same time, we'll be able to see the clicks and stuff like that. So, you know, for us, it's important when we share stuff, like is it working, is it not working? So we want to track stuff. So um, we did create statistics so I'm collecting statistics but right now I'm not showing anything because I was waiting to have a nice way to present it so now with sync fusion with that blazer stuff we'll be able to do charts so uh, today first I'm trying to run locally with the Azure function in the cloud and right now the authentication is using Azure Active Directory because it's free and super secure and you don't need to manage any password and anything. So that's pretty cool. But uh, so now I need to, so we have the to-dos in the top right corner over there. So we are trying to have our kind of dev environment where I have my UI local and function are in Azure um, because I'm not even sure I can, I'm, I'm assuming I could run both locally, but anyway, function will be in Azure, UI will be local, and we'll add a grid. The grid, we did mess around with the grid or before, but uh, since we moved to really be um, Active Directory, we didn't touch it. And uh, when we did try to do a chart, we failed. So today is try to learn that. So feel free to help me because I don't know what I'm doing. So that's the plan, Narv002. And you can always try the drop game and we have CB who's tracking your process. So CB is our cloud bot here. Eventually we'll have more functionality where we could do a bunch of stuff but CB is tracking, we'll celebrate any victory or tracking your best scores and stuff like that. You can always do stats to see your personal stats. Or if you wanna know where you are in the leaderboard of the day, you could do uh, scores, exclamation point scores, and you will be able to see the all the player of today with their scores. 
So now I just add what I was doing when you arrive, I think, yeah. So I was adding the core, so I'm trying to make, make it possible to run locally. So this is my project here, so I just want to stop it first. Do I need to stop it? Let's stop it to make sh No, like I shouldn't need to. The URL specify and the request doesn't match the reply URL. Did I put 501 in the setting? Yeah, 501. The reply URL specify in the request. Wait, what? in my app registration and I will just go in secret for two seconds uh, that's that one notification ah I did a typo I had two backslash so let me share again. You hoo hoo. So here I had a second backslash that I just delete. It was backslash backslash. So now I just saved it. I will go back. I just want to check another another one. I think I'm fine. So let's try again. Whoops, I need to share my screen. So let's refresh one. If I do a login. Yeah. Then I should have one URL. Cool, and we have the grid. This is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, okay. I'm not running in the same. Um... What's that browser? Is it Chrome or is it Edge? So we have a grid. That's pretty cool. Oh, it, it is Chrome. It's just different version of Chrome. Anyone drop? Any anyone land? I don't think so, huh? Mm -hmm. So we have that. So now if we want to create a new URL, we could just add new URL. Let's say we want to add the Blazor component. We just put the link here. We could leave it there. Or we could do a say Blazor, right? And then let's put a title here. Uh, 
and I have two grid I have so right here because we're building it right so I have like my regular one here and I have the blazer one the the sync fusion one and the reason why I want the sync fusion is that is that uh, I could sort I could filter and things like that and we can have the pager because I'm using that tool and now I have a lot of URL and things like that so I'm always scrolling and scrolling to find <laughs> my last URL so um, with a pager it will be easier and then you could say oh you know what like I want to filter I don't know why I cannot filter by vanity but if I want to say oh I just want something that end with Zor I could do that and apparently I have nothing so it's not working very well Okay, this is working. Okay, strange. There are zero clicks. So right now I'm only displaying like the clicks, but I'm tracking when the click happened. So this way we'll be able to see, okay, if you're sharing a link, then oh, like everybody like uh, half an hour after like, like my thing went viral and like I got full clicks. So that's cool. So we have that. It's not working as I would like to though, but. Why well, have an exclamation point here? I don't remember. And I know we try, so this is our menu here. So that's the URL manager. And I was trying to have a click Oh yeah, and I think I needed to update the statistic because I was not returning what I was expecting or something like that. I think, forgot. Wow, that's far. So let's try to see what's what happened if I click this. I'm displaying a board, but it's failing. Okay, can we can we debug that? I don't think so, right? Doom, 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 doom. My Bluetooth speaker decided to reset. Why? I don't know. So I'm building something. Okay, so now we saw the UI, let's shut it down. Let's examine the code, see what's happening here. Just need to put back my hoodie. Bonjour, hi. Hey, Sam UK, how are you? How are you? Where? experimenting the blazer control we're back so version 2 is working that's cool i need to clarify the documentation i think i, I forgot where but i saw yesterday evening someone was uh, saying it was not clear got lost in the documentation so i i know i need to make it clearer uh, and also i want to put the documentation to how to set up your domain for nothing because right now the only way I didn't explain anything, I think. Oh yeah, I think it's go back to the doc, but if you're using the doc from Microsoft, like it's more based on for a website. So you need to have the www then your website. And of course for a URL shortener, you don't want that. You just want the domain, kind of naked domain. To have that, you can use Cloudflare. That is a free service. I just need to document it. So, planning to do that pretty sure today or maybe Friday I can need to do it so I have everything set up to f yeah no, I, I think it's better if I do it offline because I will be able to do a nice screenshot 
you know hide the private information since I will be playing with my domain and stuff like that but yeah okay So we won't, let's go and let's close this guy and this guy. So, okay, so you know what? We have, I um, oh, forgot to, to do time. So um, We'll do this and we'll do a to do dash done. Number one is done, right? So it should be straight through at the top. Now we should start to do, we should start number two saying, no, we had a grid. So even the grid is done, but it's not great, but it's there. Uh, done number two so now we start to do start number three voila you need to I need I need to have a, a reminder of um, taking the timestamp and let's see if I crash my bot by doing something here. So you could do. <clears throat> okay, and apparently I didn't crash my uh, chatbot. Pretty cool, pretty sweet. So let's go check our board here. So using Fusion Data Grid, we do use it, but it's not perfect. So we'll keep it in progress, right? Let's add a comment. Do we have a comment? So, oh, the Data Grid is awesome as soon as we figure the license. Okay. Oh, we add it? Okay. Use the Sync Fusion chart, adding stat grid. Okay, that's the one we are doing right now. Okay, cool. So, how does that work? View the demo. And I'm assuming there's some kind of documentation somewhere. Ebook community documentation. Okay, cool. So see, like that's a good grid. But what we want to play with is more All component. Ah, chart. Something like that, I think, would be cool, right? Can you see it correctly in your screen? So, right, something where we have the dates and, like, you know, dates will be here and number of clicks over there and, like, links will be there. Hey, thank you for the following, uh, Pigeon. Super happy to have you on board. It, I, I, I'm really happy to have you on board, seriously. It's pretty cool, thank you. Um, I hope you enjoy the stream and the, the little, you know, Christmas hats. Santa Claus, Santa hats. The grid and calendar are only two I've played with it, so. Oh. Excellent. So Sam UK, you will be able to help me <laughs> because I remember last time I did try something and it was not working, but I think it's just the data. So source. Yeah. Oh, who 
who's watching the Man Man oh, Mandalorian season two? I'm like, you know, that was that made me think about Star Trek, but I'm a Star Wars guy. I still enjoy so much Star Trek, but I'm a Star Wars fan. And um, so anybody is following the Mandalorian season two? So, what? Say Sam UK. It was a long time ago and I switched away from it, wishing I got the back end logic work. Oh, okay, 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 okay. For a second, I thought like you went away because it was not working or something like that, but just like, you know, you want to work on the back end before continuing. Okay. Not yet. I need to watch season. Uh, season one is awesome. And I think season one was available on Prime, I think. But now it's not anymore, and that's one of my problem. I don't have, uh, it's on Disney right now, and I don't have it. Okay, so let's have a look how they do this. Uh, thank you for the following. Super appreciated S Studio. S Studio 12. S E Studio 12. Exclamation point. No, exclamation point is just Streamlabs. That is super happy. It's woo! Just like me. <laughs> I shall know. No, that's not the one I wanted. <laughs> well, okay, okay, wow, wow. <laughs> that chick monsters is never stopping. Thank you for the following links. Link, link dicks. Welcome aboard. Welcome, everybody. Super happy to have you all in. It's super cool. We're having fun today. Learning. You know what? When I see new followers, new subscribers, and I'm experimenting stuff like that, it just tells me that I'm doing it right. Uh, because it is very scary to learn stuff in front of a camera. <laughs> so this is a very good way to tell me, yes, it's a good, it's fun, do it. So excellent, thank Bonjour. you. Hi. And Marcus is back. Hello, Marcus, how are you? Nice to see you. Okay, so they did. They're using Syncfusion chart and the navigator manager. I'm not sure what's that thing. Great, cool. And uh, it's inherit from simple base component. Okay, so we'll have to have a look to that. Okay, so that's the component. Okay, yeah, I'm not using any component right now. The UI is a little bit, uh, you know, it's building to work and then we'll refact. We're learning. So, so there's a chart here with the title. That's pretty cool. All right. Hey, thank you for the following noob runner. Oh, that's a cool name. I like that. It's also reassuring to see someone else figuring out stuff the hard way. <laughs> it's not just me. I agree with you. I agree with you, but... Go now. Go drop the Why? Ah. <laughs> well, you know, like, in computer sciences, you need to... Uh, it never stop, right? I was telling one of my mentees, like, you're not doing a sprint, it's a marathon, and it's a never ending marathon. In fact, when you're stopping learning, like when you stop learning, it's probably because you are preparing yourself to change career or to your retreat, because you know, there's always something new. I've been doing Azure for 10 years at least, and there's New release every day, every day. In fact, there's more than 
one release every day. But anyway, so that's what it's why it's fun. So it's a chart. So CF chart title, blah blah blah, and so there's that load event chart load chart load, and it's. Okay, we'll, we'll have to figure that out. Did you land, Marcus? No, huh? because Chatbot didn't say anything. Oh, it's not working. The parachute game is broken? Maybe because I had the... Um... Let's fix that. Pixel flush, I think. Nope. I was working earlier. Can I just refresh it maybe? I know it's pixel plush. Does it work now? Let's just fix that quickly. Okay, so now it's working back. Should we keep fall or should we go with the. Uh, I think he changes team for uh, winter. I could go with uh, back night. Oh, I like the retro one. That's a cool one too. I like the parachute knight because you know it's dark blue. Well, we'll keep it that for now. Good luck, everybody. And I will jump as. Stop working again. Maybe we should fix it. You know what? Let's go back to, uh, to this one. So we won score in the chat, bit cheer. Not sure I, I want the background, but I want a cloud. So I think that's what I want here. Now if we try. first one to drop today <laughs> I feel like a it's a rig it's rigged is that how do you say that people cloudy's always complaining that the game is rigged <laughs> okay so it's building a chart chart area so let's try to compare with Yay! what I have who land Japan Patrick you land congrats and you're leading today Yay! links the lightings 
VLAN 2. Well, congrats. Okay, so what do we have here? No, not a new page. I just want to have it. Why are you not helping me? Come on. Okay, like do this and do that. And then I will. That's better. So now I'm not even showing. I want the. So that's user manager. I want the statistics. So that's our statistics part. So we have the chart here. We could put a title. So let's put a title equal click stats and um, so chart area So we were, oh yeah, remember we built, uh, that's so weird that you say Linknicks, that's my turn. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know what, I'm always having trouble saying the names and, and it's hard, I think even harder than like all others because when I read, sometimes I read it in French and I have dyslexia. So for me, when I read your link, your name is links, but then I realize there's a T, so it's not that there. So it's Lightix, Linux, Light, it's Lightix. I don't know, you, is it Lightix? Is it how you pronounce it? Lit, lit, oh, lit Excel, IX. <laughs> well, it's Samb, Samb UK. No, Smab, Smab UK. Is it better? Are you having fun? Smab, Smab, Smab. Yeah, Smab. Oh, and I say Samb. Smab UK. I want to know what VS Code team you're using. I like the color. So this is the color is uh, is Cobalt. Cobalt two is the the team, and uh, I have the border. So I'm using an extension called. Uh, peacock There it is peacock That extension was created by John Papa my colleague and uh, You could define the border. So like here. I have multiple Visual studio code that's purple like twitch because that's my stream notes Here it's blue because uh, I don't know it's blue because it's the global project and it's tiny blazer i'm in but at the root level so it, it include the readme file and stuff like that and this one on the right is the purple like blazer just to help me so when you have a bunch of uh, visual studio code open it helps to have like color and it's just a config so you could change whatever you want pretty cool Yeah, no, so to, to set the purple, you do uh, bring your palette and then you do peacock. And the way you could do it is to um, 
it is change to a favorite color so that first option here change to a favorite color you could customize it but by default the favorite color they will suggest you like you know by language so I think I picked the C sharp purple yes the color is a settings in VS code I think in settings it will be like the it will be in the, that that VS code folder you know what let's make this a bit shorter so we can see a little bit better oh you know what and I'll zoom so in the folder dot VS code you have a file settings and now you have like that color coming back I think it's that one though the title bar active background and whatever it does that a peacock color see somehow I found that when I look at that it remembers me a little bit fallout fallout Las Vegas or New Vegas like the I don't know like maybe it's the orange or yellowish that I don't know okay so I was so I don't have here an area so we can definitely add an area right that that can be good and then we have the primary X axis so X is this one and that would be time so same future blazer chart type value date time okay and for us we put category oh yeah because I want buy bar chart I think it doesn't make sense. Okay, so let's switch it to sync future date time. Right? And then they have the axis. What chart? Major green line with So the axis here like this let's do that the same and then they have the Y so that's we don't have a Y and I'm wondering why it's not working I'm assuming we were following on a different demo <laughs> because <laughs> half the stock is missing <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know sometime you try I was probably very excited like I, I'm still am today I just I just, I just wanted to make it works uh, so label is whatever value percentage Oh yeah, that's in percentage. Uh, I just want the value for now. Range padding. No padding, no minimum, no maximum though. Did you see my poor request to uh, Oh, that was you, Marcus. 
Yes. Uh, I just, like, I remember seeing something. Was it in the Tiny Blazer? Or it was in the URL shortener? So it's that one, documentation update. So Mark, for, like, that's you? Yeah, Marcus, Mark. Okay. Uh, so yes. Um... I will, I will, I'll have, blah, 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 blah. I will have a look. I'm working on this thing today. Uh, it's not true. I want to work on that things today uh, offline because I need to deploy, like I said, the new URL shortener that I want to use starting next week for the show all around Azure. And, um, and, uh, I know, I know documentation also is not clear and I saw you catch a bunch of typos and stuff so I will have a look that's for sure okay so chart so so width is zero blah 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 chart tool tips settings why not I have no clue what it is it's easier to remove after okay so now collections so the chart series collection, we have that also. And chart data source is that thing, the chart data. Name Germany. Okay, so that's two sources. So for me, I just want one sources, I think. Yes, that's what I did. And it's data source click history. Oh yeah, okay. So we're building first the click history. So it's any clicks. Not sure I'm returning that value, but we'll, we'll see that later. X name. Y type is what bars. Maybe we should do lines for now, just to keep it like the demo we're following. Can I make it just a little bit? It's really annoying. Can I remove you? There it is. Ah, that's better. <laughs> I was tired to work in a tiny little environment. Okay, so now lines, that's cool. Chart marker. What's a chart marker? Oh, it's, is it like the, not, not for now, okay. So we need to build that thing here so here chart data that's a type right all right virus welcome aboard those cloud with a Christmas hat are welcoming you just like me. Super happy to have you on board. Welcome aboard. Super happy to see you in the cloud. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to go in the cloud. Welcome in the cloud, the playground. Right. And another one. Yes, Miramis. Yeah. Why yes, Miramis? Oh, and Shirley Dev is in the house. Do you know what it means? It means is drop time. It is drop time, people. <laughs> awesome. Oh, did I drop with my... Oh, I cannot drop now. I already dropped and I'm still floating with a 
Smab UK. Light things, you just land. Yay! And I think you just bypassed Patrick. You could do a exclamation point scores to see the scores of everybody. Oh, did I miss Jason? Jason Han is here. The guy who's usually in the cloud. <laughs> But not today. <laughs> hey, buddy. So what are the results? Bunch of, you know, try and not land. That's okay. The game is hard, I know. What do we have after? Zero, zero, zero. A lot of players today. Oh, like, you know, Shirley Dev is, is here. Okay, so Pucheros with seven. Oh, that was funny. It's not in the uh, the good order. All right. Hey, thank you for the following, Simon Abra Simon Abram. Figure six is here also welcome i was happy to catch your stream the other day uh, though i catch it like i think for 10 minutes but uh i was happy i think it was the first time i i i was seeing the the stream so pretty cool oh, who was there it was uh it was john galloway um so that yeah and i ooh, i i knew two it was Three or four men. I forgot. I forgot. I knew Jen Galloway, and I think I knew. Um, I forgot his name. I, I knew two of, of the the people there. I'm I'm going well. I'm doing well. It's a long day today, but uh, hopefully will be a productive day. These day I'm assuming I'm working very well because when it's six. Like I'm barely standing for eating my uh, dinner, I'm just like you know, feel scary to fall f face in the in the plate, fall asleep. I don't know why. I don't know. Is it like because now it's dark? Though I have like those big lights should help, right? Simulating the sun. I don't know. I feel like every night is just like, pff, I just want to go sleep. Maybe I should, but I feel guilty to go to the bed. You know, if it's too early. Okay, so here I don't understand what's right. chart data. Thank you for the following six figure. It's really appreciated. Really cool to have you on board. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Okay, so it is a list. Okay, cool. And here we have a list. So okay, that's cool. So click data. Ah, so data source. No, oh, we're fine, right? So for us, data source was click history, clicks history, and it's this. So it's a uh, some date time for the x value, and. A string maybe string is not a good value for that it will be a harder maybe I should put a number maybe we'll need to check that What I miss? What was it? Can I be in the cloud instead? <laughs> I 
I need to update all that. I want I want more clouds. String should be a number, some kind of uh, yeah. Should be an int. But here, so X name, I'm assuming I should put this and this, right? So a line chart, yeah, so X value and Y value. Yeah, okay, so I should put this here. That's a really bad design, but let's do it for now. We'll rename stuff after. Ready for the drop. I need to I need to drop as a cloud now. Oh, I thought I was landing. <laughs> but nope. I'm flying. And we have a land. Oh, 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 oh. Yay! Look at that. 74. And uh, the Uronic land 58. Congrats. Cryptographer land. Congrats. Yeah, I saw that, Shirley Dev. Shirley. I need to uh, say it in English. But like said, Sam, Smab UK, I, right. you know, give names to all my cloudies, all, all of you. Halkamisk, welcome aboard. Thank you for the following. And I missed one. Uh, Adarpa. Yeah, Adarpa, welcome aboard. Super happy to have you on board. Thank you for all the new following today. It's super cool. Thank you a lot. And if you are... An Amazon Prime. <laughs> That's my sales pitch. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's let's do that. I'm sorry, but you know I need to try it a little bit. So if you have an Amazon Prime, you could subscribe to my channel. Use your Prime to subscribe. It will give you emotes. Those nice emotes that I'm using from time to time. Let let me use them for you right now. Boom. There it is. Uh, no, it didn't work. Yeah, and. Um, for me, it will eventually give me the possibility to have more emotes and I will add CB as an emote. So I will add this guy. No, this way, Frank. We'll add this guy also inside the emote. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, GKS, Mitch, CW, Clockwise, for the following. Very appreciated. Oh, Mr. is speaking French. Sir Ali Dev. Je parle un peu. Je parle beaucoup. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Because because it will be cool if we can have something, right? Okay, so I think, okay, let's, so I'm just not sure what's the load. So navigation, blah, 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 teams, contrast. It's, I'm not sure I want this thing. There's an error on line 48. Yeah. 
probably because the the class here is not good so we'll have a look i know that thank you uh marcus i'm just trying to understand when that thing is loaded okay so here let's maximize this make it bigger cool so here we're trying to build our uh, list of statistics so I'm trying to get the get stats from their URL shortener. We need to check what's returning and that thing. I'm not sure it's been too long. And then for each, I'm building that new class here, that new category. So here, like this is an int and this is a string. Why I'm doing... Partition key? I need to check what that thing returns. So let's open the project uh, AZ URL shortener. Do I have it close by? No. Control R to see the list, and then you say easy URL shortener. Let's go boom. And we need to go in not in the data in the Oh, I think I, I opened the website. Damn it. Damn it. Control R. Easy URL. Let's go like that one. I know like it's the root. I won't be able to run it, but that's good for now. So I want to go. There's a lot of stuff, right? So I want to go in source and then I want the shortener. That's our Azure function. And I want the click stat. And what I'm returning It's get all stat by vanity. Okay. Can I F12? Is it working? So 10, 11, 12. Cool. I have the code here. So I am returning the partition. No. I think uh, the best way will be to do uh, so. Let's. Can we do a convert here? Yay! 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 Wow, that was a lot of landing. <laughs> What's happening? Ah, a bunch of uh, but that land. So let's do a very simplistic conversion here. So just want to check here. I'll do a breakpoint. Check what's return in this function, because uh, yeah, I'm not sure anymore. So let's run it to see what's return in that function. Come on. 
Okay, so let's do click statistic. Come on. That's strange. Ooh, who land 92? Oh, Groozers. Groozers land with 92. Come on. There's something strange with that version. When I'm running in that browser, it's lagging. But when I'm running in this, this one, it's working. That's strange. Right? Now just work. Cool. Uh, okay. Why did we not? Oh, because that one was. Let's try that again. Let's control C here. Uh, do we have like remove all debug thing? Disable all breakpoints. Remove all breakpoints. Okay, so now I have no more breakpoints. So let's add just those two here. Right? So now let's do a .NET build. What? Did you? Six dev figure figure. Did you just follow or you subscribe earlier? Oh, you enable like you you use your points. How did you get my uh, emote? Spend some point. Cool. I was like, what did I miss? And just say, oh thanks. And it was like a subscription. I was you got me worried for a few seconds here. Okay. So warning. I have one warning. Warning. Yeah, I could. Click history is never a sign. No sub alert. Shardy drop wave is coming up. Okay, so now that we have this, let's try again the debug thing. Okay, 
so now it's running let's try to just log okay so now we're logged in so now let's go and click statistics okay Yay! cool so now we have what happened okay that's a landing congrats i'm not sub Yay! and your cloudy didn't Yay! what Copper birdie? No, I sub. Our clothing thing didn't appear. Really? I missed that? I'm sorry, buddy. When did you do that? Like just a few minutes ago or earlier? Like. Bird, birdie. I don't even see it in the chat. Are you sure you did it? You resubscribe for yeah, I see now. Like subscriber, go to. Uh, well, what do I have? What do I have? I have. Uh, let's do cloud, and I can do. Uh, Yay! Thank you, sir. Thank you for the following. Super appreciated. Eventually, eventually, I will get enough <laughs> to have new emote, but you know, one day. <laughs> it's. It's not a priority anyway. It's just fun. Okay, I'll go back in the share screen because now we will run this function here. So just let's go step over. And it's null. Da, 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 da. Oh, because we didn't have any clicks. It's not that bad. <laughs> I mean, right? If we don't have any clicks, of course, there's no statistics and the table is probably never created. Right? So it won't do anything here. I make total sense. So let's go and click manager. Let's click on those links here. Boom, 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 boom. If I refresh, I have clicks now, no clicks. If I copy, what's the URL of that? Okay, so that work. But that one didn't work. Huh, it's even more strange. Look at that. We'll need to fix that thing. In the new grid, it's working uh, very bad. But at least here now, We'll have some clicks. So if I refresh now, I should have some clicks. Yeah, I have one, so let's... I will let you participate. Go click on that link to boost at least one of the stats so we won't be uh, equal and we'll have some, some stuff happening. Cool, so now that we have that, let's go back in the statistics. So let's remove that one. Just stop just after. Okay, so now do we have stuff? It's null. Yay! What? 
What is happening here? Bunch of landings. Congrats, congrats. Yay! Okay. So click stat list. So this thing here doesn't look like it's returning anything. So let's dig into that one. Get clicks that should be returning something. Understand why it's not returning anything. Oh, and I didn't create my documentation for that page. See, that's why the documentation is so cool. Uh, let's. Uh, what can I do? could run I'm not sure how to to run like postman or landmarker to just subscribe I'm here I'm here hello <laughs> thank you for the subscription buddy super nice to see you how are you? I miss seeing my friends like the, the like I miss to see so so many people, but the close, the people locally close. You know, I used to see uh, Lan Walker too. You know, once in a while at the meetups and stuff like that. Let's let's chat later this week. If you have time just you know I have nothing special to say but just you know take some news uh, markers program voice programmer say I like the way smash buckle works uh, in that in update documentation yeah like that's the new swagger thing right the smash buckle swash swash buckle swash buckle um, yeah like what I did for uh, for a few of mine, what I did was just I created this. Oh, oh no, I'm not sharing, sorry. I just like in on the top of my uh, function, I just created that. I thought it was very useful, clean, no extra anything. But apparently for the last one, click stat, I forgot to, to put it. So what I will do, I will just cheat on the side here. I will, I have in Postman, uh, I have Postman connected to my uh, prod one. I just want to see what kind of result is returned. Do I have prod? I think I have prod. I had prod. I'm running local. like what's that account doesn't look I had like old client stuff I think I log in in the bad account don't say anything Shh. I'll stay between us
Okay, AZ URL Shortener Prod, it was here. So, sorry again, I will go, I'm not sure if, because my prod right now, I'm still running V1. So I will be able to go here, do a duplicate, and I need to call it, uh, I'm looking for URL click stat. So here it's URL click stat. And I need to pass a vanity, right? So let's try this. I'm not using the good token. Uh huh. But like I should, I don't know, understand, like I should. Okay, let's, where are you? You're there, you're there, undefined process. I like so much that name. Okay, let's, I'm doing too many things now. Okay, so that's, click stat, that's what we do here. We just call that push the vanity. So we're looking for one. So let's run it again. I'm still running. Wait, what? What is our goal? Our goal is to display, so we're experimenting the um, the right land walker to um, all over the place. It's a good question. So we're messing around with the, um, we, want, we want statistics in our URL shortener. So we want to build something like that. And we would like to see progression and, and time of a short URL, like see how many clicks by day or something like that. And I'm just trying to get the data and display them. But it's been a while now, like I'm running version two, so I cannot just call my Azure function because I need to pass them a token that honestly, I don't know how to, to create when I'm not in an app. Assuming it should be very easy, but I should totally uh, dig into that so I could uh, practice it a bit more but right now I'm just like it's not just fall so I'll go here close this and we'll go again in stats try to follow so I want to go inside this function please So now it's calling vanity is what? It's nothing. Do we have vanity? Vanity is AZ or L shortener.
I don't have any link called AC URL shortener. That's why it will return nothing. The list will be empty because there's no such thing as Okay, so let's stop that. Control C. That took me way too long to understand. Okay, so let's go here. Click stat. I'm passing that. Mm, Frank, come on. I was. Okay, so I want one URL. Uh, let's go storage. I should have before killing it. I should have look um, What was did I I share with you the link earlier, right? It was awesome So we should be able to have awesome instead if we do this Let's see if that worked. I don't like. I feel like my uh, Visual Studio is in a strange stop, not stop mode. Maybe I should. Kill it and restart it. Let's do uh, yes, this one. Approaching, approaching. Okay, so now, now we'll go for the statistic. Awesome. We should have data for awesome. So let's just run it. Okay, let's log in or log in if we double check. So we have Vanity Awesome and we have Vanity Blazer. Cool. So now let's click statistics. Cool. So now if I do this, I, let's step over. Still go in. Let's step over. Result should be equal to something. No, it's not. Strange. Yay! Whoa, Marcus! <laughs> that's a that's a score. So now. This is null. Okay, so we need we need we need to do something. Uh what can we do? We could can I Yay Yay Marcus, that's an awesome score. Ninety five, you win the day, I think. So we need to understand, like, so close this. Can I go in my this? Can I make it bigger?
Unable to retrieve child. What? Okay, now you retrieve. What? It won't work. factor on that thing okay I did sign in let me work let me work okay so it's loading loading at least you can play while waiting I just need to wait okay apply so now let's close this what so let's go in yay let's go yay! in the function v2 the storage is 63 stg it's not there oh because i'm not in the good subscription frank pick the good subscription okay can i make it bigger there it is bigger bigger Ah, start to look like something. So URL data. And let's go table. And now we should have clicks. Interesting. So click stat is only that and URL details it's this. So I just click Yay! one more time on it. Approaching the target zone. And, ah. So now I should have something new. Okay. So that's the thing. Now I start to understand it. Okay, so that's why it's not working. Let's terminal control C. Let's close that. Okay. Okay, so what I return here is is this right whoops it's this right partition key row key timestamp and date time I need to group them
so here I should I should I don't know how to do that yeah we need to aggregate the data and then my my in uh, in here that would make sense because right now like that thing is not working because like it doesn't make any sense so we could hack her way okay now i understand so like it returns all the blob and now it's up to us to crunch it where i am that's that's no that's the tiny blazer okay it's yay so yeah smap uk we need to aggregate uh let's hack our way quickly through So what we could do here is if it's a new one, right? Let's if um, the stat partition key so okay so we need to have this dot whoops and there's a way in the list to uh, Could we group it? I could just do a query, right? Like a, a lambda query, say, hey, like take that and that would be better. I could do something like a uh, lam da group by count. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Sof, uh, Kimli, Kimbly, right? Something like instead of doing a for each, right? So let's go back what we had before, just to keep it clean. I will put that in comment. What's that? Interesting. What I want to do is something like uh, click history. Whoops. Let's do a temporary variable for now. So var equal temp just to build our stuff equal to. Uh, this thing dot group by no dot list dot group by and then we'll do um, 
s equal uh, s dot partition key, right? And for that thing, do a dot select and it will be uh, stat equal to new then I could create that click data here right then I would say here that the uh, value here is equal to stat dot and then it's daytime oh no oh yeah No, because I want to aggregate for each partition key. No, I'm only having one. So I don't want to go by partition key. I want to go by date time. Right, I'm assuming right now I'm Oh right, right now we're just trying to uh Lam UK Lam Walker like Lam Lam, Lam UK <laughs> I'm mixing two conversation here. So uh Lam Walker, you're totally right. Right now we're just trying to figure how things will work. We definitely need to do some aggregation somewhere else. Right now, I'm just trying to play with the UI and see how it reacts and things like that. Uh, and I disagree. Um, depending on how many, like, f probably if I was like, if I was Microsoft or if I was like a huge thing and I had like tons and tons and tons of clicks at the same second and stuff like that, yeah, Cosmo would be a better solution. But I'm just frank. Um, so right now I'm using storage. The beauty of it is you could have a Cosmo DB in the back because I'm using Cosmo DB. SDK to query my storage. So if you change for like Cosmo DB, then the app won't see a thing. You're just connecting to a different source. So for now, that's not a problem. So I want to group by this with a specific format. So I'm assuming. Clicks that entity does not contain date type. Okay, what what does it contain? The click stat entity, where is it? In data I'm assuming. Click stat entity just here. Yeah, there's a date time.
Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, I will make something better. So I'm just, I don't understand. So it says that click stat entity doesn't have a definition for date time. Oh, maybe it's not public. Yeah, it's public. Date time. It's a string, though. you don't want why is it the problem That's a property here, right? Okay, so now it's working. So now, by date time, hey, Denzerb, thank you for the following. Very cool to have you on board. Oh, okay, added capital. Thank you. You know. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> okay, and now I want to account, right? So I want to count. Uh, so I want stat dot count. Just one count. X value? No, no, it's Y here. So X value will be equal to this. Oh, and it's stat. So we're grouping by daytime, and then I'm selecting what's the error? Cannot implicit string to daytime. Oh, yeah. 
yeah, okay, because it is. Yeah, okay. So let's just do a... a parse, the time parse, I think. I could have kept date time, but whatever. Okay. Whew. You know, when you read the error message, <laughs> it's always better. Partition key? It didn't have a partition key, I think. But it's not the partition key that I want. It's the grouping factor, so that's why I'm thinking it's key. Okay, so here it will return this. <laughs> yeah. Smab UK, so, so through. Like, you need to read it like a few times to kind of. A lot of time people take times to uh, write good. When you have error message, they take time to write it down to pass information. So, you need to spend time reading it. Okay, so now we have this. So that would be a collection of stuff. So now we want this to go here, right? No, we want this to go in click history. So we want click history to be equal to tab dot list to list. Does it make sense? I don't know. It's drop in time. Like <laughs> Mark is just like number one. What's going on? Come on, CB, wake up. All right. Hey, thank you for the following. Super appreciate um, Ermito, Ermito. Welcome aboard, welcome to the cloud. I'm Mario in a parachute. Okay, so let's run this thing, see where we broke the code this time. Hopefully it worked. Yeah, that would be cool. Top of the hour, still have a few minutes. Like a few, like, you know, 25 minutes. So I have, we have time to fix things, broke things again. Right. Plus the chat, like tons of stuff could happen, right? Thank you for the following, it's very appreciated, Sean. Wigbird, Winberg, welcome aboard, welcome to the cloud, welcome to the stream where, you know, where the stream is the playground, not the limits. Jason says, no breaking butts without me. <laughs> you know what, Jason, I was just about to say something, but since you're bringing it. <laughs> oh, man. I did, so... I Last Friday, I was with Jason, uh, Jason N24 on the stream, and uh, he, he, he bring a project. We're building a, a new game that we want to play while streaming with, with you. And um, so he said, ah, I tried that. So I, you know, cloned the project, tried to run it on my environment, and it broke everything, trigger my firewall that, not my firewall, my antivirus that removed node and like, tons of stuff break of course since the chatbot is running in node chatbot stopped working but like i didn't catch right away what was happening so uh we know that the solution is running the bot in 
a container that will fix a lot of stuff. Uh, so I did look into how to wrap my chatbot in a container during the weekend, but it was so nice outside. Like we're not supposed to have 20 Celsius or 25 Celsius at that period of time in Quebec. And it was so hot and nice and so yeah i was feeling guilty to um to stay inside even if i really enjoy coding it's good to do something else sometime right so okay so we jump hopefully click stats is not empty anymore What happened? Where are we? Are we here? No, there's no breakpoint. Where is it? Did it crash? Let's try again. Click stat. Let's jump in. Cool. Go in. Okay, so now we have click stat. It is now. Why click stat is now? I don't understand. So we need to debug that. We need to debug get click stat because apparently it's not working anymore. And of course it will return empty. This is sad. Yay! Yay! Don't. Okay, that's cool. People land CB. That's fine. You know. Yay! Um. So what are just the scores? Nice, nice. Oh. This the winner is a uh, a real player or is one of your butts uh Shirley Dev. So. And by the way, if you're inter interested to see your statistics, you could do exclamation point stats in the chat and it will tell you how many tentative you did, how many time you land, what's your highest score and things like that. Like the, I forgot the name. Yeah, the onion. Okay. So, um, so can I run that thing locally? That's a good question. Let's open a new browser, a new VS Code. <coughs> what? The unoriginal jerk is how you read it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so control R and then AZ URL shortener. I think it's that one, admin tool, no. 
I want the nope 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 I think it will be easier if I just open a folder instead I want the shortener tool I want this project my local settings so we'll go in another window come here and what is oh you know what like I will yeah, I will go in secret mode instead boom am I secret mode I'm secret mode go secret mode and I will go in the portal grab my storage thing the one I want and now I want the other one won't be long I will be back with you this one connection string I'm not even sure it will work because I'm not sure can you can you use that locally I have no clue okay so let's load this one because it's empty boom then I will share my screen again so what I did is I went into the portal here and you go in your storage, you go in access key and you take you can take your connection string. So I paste that, put that in my local settings so I could start playing and we'll see if that works. Uh, so now the goal is to close this thing and let's open any. So I'm assuming click stat here. That's what we want, right? So we'll put a breakpoint somewhere in there. Let's put a breakpoint right away here. So let's run that. The original jerk landed. So now we could take insomnia and do I have a just test? URL shortener local. I have a URL shortener local, that's perfect. So let's URL list this. So it's running. So my function right now, it's running. So if I do URL list, ah, oh, cool, I need to sign in. That's awesome. So I can test locally. Or oh, will I need to remember all the time? what ah, because it's local os and this thing I need to change that so I need to go in the 
resource group and the Azure function and then Yay! and then is it course? It's not course. Right? It's calling that I need to no it will be an active directory I should have checked something else. So I need so here let's go in authentication authorization and here and my client ID is C421. Hello audience. Oh if I can I put this? Will that work? No, huh? I'll save first. No, okay. Uh, C421, right? So now if I go in my Active Directory and I check my, where is it? Application registration. Oh. Uh, yeah, I can show that. There is no problem showing that. Is there anything else in the screen? Nope. That's the one, the third one. So the test test. Now I'm not sure I will go in secret mode. And I will go in here. And here I will add my new The chat is flying. Oh, and there's no. Um... Let me help you. I will do this bonjour. instead. Hi. Hey, bonjour. I don't know who you are because I'm hiding the chat right now. Stefan isn't there. H Y F S S seven X V. No, Stefan. It's way much easier. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Nice to see you. What? Drop doesn't work anymore? Did I broke it again? No, okay. Oh, you did drop while I was at the other side. <laughs> so nobody dropped because I was on the other screen. Sorry, I should definitely do that. You know what I should do? Switch my full team to use just OBS. The, like, you know. Okay, so I have this, 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 this. Does it work now? Can I just call it send? Why it's not working? I sh it should be, right? Why it's not working? I did authorize. I'll ask the chat, where are you? 
Island with 94. Did I did I beat? Did I just took the the lead on the? Okay, so let's have a note. Um, we need to debug the the function here because it's it's not working. It's not. We need to be able to debug this locally. So we need to we need to fix that I think. That will, yeah, that would be better. But for now. And don't worry about don't see uh, butts dropping. <laughs> Have a good uh, rest of the week and see you maybe Friday sure sure. Sir Elidev. Yay! So let's uh, let's run the the scores of today while we're looking for someone to raid. Any suggestion? Who should we raid today? It'll be cool to um, to raid someone new. No, not that. I want just Twitch. Twitch. Any suggestions? Oh, you know what? Code Rush. Stay with me. We'll go see Code Rush, okay? Please. I've been watching his stream and I think every time he's there, like I have only one or two viewers. So now we have a good group. It will be cool to raid him. And this guy has... It's a party all the time. So it will definitely be super cool. Because it gives a... To, uh, bring my hands back. to have fun. So we'll do that. That's all. Oh, I'm excited now. Will be cool. Done. I want to. I want to raid. I want to raid. Code Rush. Yeah. Cool. And with that, Cloudies, I say I will see you on Friday. With I will be with Jason to broke my system again. No, no, to build. A new game, a trivia game, so we're learning TypeScript and Node, and we're having a lot of fun, honestly. So join us on Friday, same time, same channel. Bye-bye.